Today I'm going to cover how to transfer files such as films etc onto an iPhone or an iPad um, it, into the relevant app so that you can watch a film on the move without actually having to, to add it to your iTunes library but drag it straight into the app. Okay, so I'm starting with, I've got my laptop turned on with iTunes running and I have a couple of iPad minis. I'm going to transfer it onto my black iPad mini. Okay, so the first thing you do is plug your Apple device, be it your iPad mini or your iPhone or iPod. Plug him in and just unlock him. Right, now on iTunes itself, we'll give it a few moments, it should, as you can see it's installing the shiny screen, installing the device. So I shall now pause for a moment until it is finished installing because it has not been installed on this computer before. Okay, so back to what I was saying, I now have these drivers installed which just highlights the fact that I have not used these iPads on this computer before and will also highlight that you do not, I repeat, do not need to sync your iPad or iPhone or iPod to the computer and, and iTunes. We are pu purely using iTunes as a conduit to communicate between the computer and the Apple product. So it's purely, we're purely using the software nothing else. So getting back, I have unplugged the iPad mini, so I should now plug it back in. Mm. iPad mini, now plug, plugged in. And now hopefully, as we look at, if we look at the screen, just trying to bring this back up, you will see that we have an iPad icon appeared in the corner. Sometimes, depending on the situation, you may get a message on the screen asking you to trust the computer because it hasn't seen it before. Just confirm it because obviously you've done it, you know what you're doing. Um, the, so we now have an iPad showing in the corner, referring to this iPad. Okay, if I now go up with the mouse, click on iPad, and this is the summary of my iPad. You then go across to apps for your applications, click it, and the page should go to a list of the apps presently on your iPad. Give it a second. Okay, and the computer decided to do a couple of updates, there was a slight delay, but I have now clicked on apps. Clicked on apps. And you get a mini version of this view of each of the pages that would be on your device. For mine, it's the iPad mini. Now I want to scroll down below this upper portion of the interface. And there we go, past all the very relevant pages. Right, sorry, I want to scroll on the outside rather. And we go down below that first portion and you get a second portion of the screen with apps and the documents that are within those apps. And these are the apps that you can interface with. I have AV Player for Play Media. I've also got VLC, but for now I'm going to go with AV Player because that's the one I like. And it doesn't really matter to be truthfully honest. Um, the procedure is the same for all the apps you have. And you'll see that I have this open window. This is where you're going to put your documents, which in this case are going to be films. Right. So I've plugged in my USB stick where I have a couple of holiday videos. So I'm now just very quickly going to go computer, find the stick, So because I'm going to do basic drag and drop. Okay. And these are the two image files from my holiday snaps. So I'm going to select both of them and simply drag them into that window we were looking at earlier and let go. And it's as simple as that. I'm now going to close the window down. And as you see across the top, oh, in fact, it was quicker than I could, it will actually list up here um, files being copied. If you put in a feature length uh, 
video. Obviously, it will take a little longer, a few minutes, but those are those are very short files, and they were almost instantly in. Okay, I'm doing this on my phone, so I'm hoping that this focuses okay. Um, so as said, that was better. So as said, there's these two files that I've basically dragged in to a V player. Um, as noted earlier, well, I'm just scrolling up. Um, Again, just so you can see what the page will look like when you first are confronted by it. That's what you're basically first confronted with. I'm going to go down the outside and go down. And then you go to the file sharing part portion of the page. This is under apps. I said before, under apps, file sharing, apps, file sharing. And then you find your program and drag them in there. Okay, so these files from here should now be dragged onto my iPad. Right, so I'm just going to move the iPad Mini to a place better to be seen. Here we go. And I'm going to go to my entertainment folder. And AV player, because that's what I've dragged them into. Give it a second. Just refresh it. And there are the, both those files that weren't, weren't there before. They are now there. So if I now start one of those files... Turn it down because it's a. Oops. There's the video playing. If I go back. Don't worry about this because every app is slightly different. If you're using VLC, you'll know you'll hopefully know your way around that. And the second video. There we go. The grand cat. The going blast out this. That's bad. Turn the volume down. <laughs> so that's flying over Las Vegas from the helicopter. Um, as you can see, they weren't on there before, now they are. Uh, so if I now stop that, because you don't really want to see all of these snaps. So what we've done is we've dragged from a memory stick onto the iPad. Now, just to repeat, as noted before, it, my, my computer had to install the drivers because this iPad is not synced to this version of Windows. To do this, you do not need to sync. You can use a friend's laptop or computer. Where, as long as you've got your Apple cable and iTunes on the other computer, you can do this as many times as you want. Um, I'm just going to go done. Get my finger out of the way. Just going to go done. So I go back to the basic page. I'm actually on podcasts at the moment. And as you can see, I have an iPad. If you have more than one device plugged in, this is where the second iPad comes in. Just plug in that second iPad in. Second iPad is now plugged in. And it says, do you want to allow the computer to access information on the iPad? Continue. Right. Now it's asking, it's waiting for a response because I'll probably find that the iPad itself, it's a puppy pen, Needs there. You see, you've got that. Do you trust this computer? Okay. Well, obviously I do because I'm doing it. So I'm going to say trust. Okay. Now, in theory, where I had one iPad for the black one, if I unplug it and plug it back in again, just to there we go. Two iPads. And if I hover over it, if I click on it rather, you get the choice of my 3G or my iPad Mini. This could be an iPhone and an iPad, an iPhone and an iPod. You know, it, obviously this is common sense. This is where the device is. So you would then pick the device you want to tinker with. Excuse me. And then Just going to pause it a moment. Sorry about that. The the laptop is uh, updating files, so it takes it's pausing on occasion. Okay, I am now into the back into the iPad because I chose it at the top where I had choice of two iPads. There it's telling me which iPad I'm actually on. I'm a Wi-Fi only one at the moment. Um, and this is also where you can eject them. You can eject them where it lists the two devices because there's a little ejection button there. There's also one here. So once I've finished transferring my files on, I can eject. And it's as simple as that. So you simply go into iTunes. Well, updates everywhere. Never mind. 
that's another story for another day. Right, so basically you go into iTunes, go into your um, in, into the particular device you've plugged into it, which would be for me my iPad Mini. Obviously the files could be on your computer or on a stick, I've used them off a stick. Go into apps, go into the device that you want to transfer to, then the apps option, further down, file sharing and drag the file across. And it's as simple as that.